Have you ever written anything similar or written yeah. anything together? We haven't written together, but we um, we may occasionally make discoveries about overlap. And there was the the uh, poem about the the poems about the wild swans that we discovered, and we thought we would read those today. Great, um, because yeah, and this has to do with my mother, Dashka's grandmother. Okay, mine is called Points of View. There are hundreds of them. I tell her. Hundreds of wild swans filling the air above my head like an exploded feather quilt. I want to say more. Tell her how weightlessly they glided through their bright confetti sky. Describe the way they called to one another with loud cacophonous delight. But I don't get the chance. Drawing her cardigan closer, my mother sits forward in her chair and warns, those are very dangerous birds. <laughs> And then I discovered that, that Dashka had, having heard this, the story of this marvelous one line, um, had written her own response to it. Which is, this one is written in my grandmother's voice. My grandmother tells my mother about swans. I must warn you that swans are very dangerous birds. Not only because a swan may turn into a god desiring more than a decent girl would give, more because they are so strong and drape that strength in long white feathers. Remember to be afraid of beauty and deception. As you are lulled by the feathers in the long neck, the way a winter traveler forgets to walk in the deep snow, forgets to be cold, sleeps, then comes the cruel beak of the black-eyed bird, razor sharp. You didn't know that, did you? Those wings can wrap you like a bank of snow. The beak bludgeon you, drag you down to the bottom of some reedy pond. You were never clever enough. You trusted stray dogs, second husbands. So let me tell you now, be careful. My mother came from Hungary, entirely unprepared. And look how she wound up, blind. She hardly went outdoors, stayed clear of dirty peddlers, cooked her food well, kept kosher. And yet, something got her anyway and pecked her eyes right out. So take that as your lesson. A handsome husband, passage to America, you think you're in the clear. Did I mention my friend's granddaughter who took a pill to have a child and ended up with twins? Now what will she do? One's a blessing, two's a curse. Someone should have warned her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good, good to see her. Different in terms of the same event. Perhaps with a little imagination, I'd say, goes a long way. Oh, this is great. So has your grandmother ever heard this poem? No. No. 